Peep this out, guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. This time headed into El Pollo Loco to check out one of their all new entree platters. And since you've already seen the title of this one, you already know which one we're going in on. So let's set ourselves up through that drive through. Thank you for choosing El Pollo Loco. Would you like to try a new Pollo Pepperino? Uh, actually, no thanks, but uh, you know, peep this out. Let me go for the uh, double chicken enchilada platter, uh, just with no chopped cilantro on top, and that's it. Did you want to do that with a drink? Oh no, that's fine. Okay, the enchilada platter with no cilantro, anything else in it? Oh, that's it. Your color comes up to 765. Great, thanks. So chicken enchiladas have got to be my all-time favorite item to get whenever I go to a Mexican restaurant with that side of refried beans and rice just to keep it traditional, you know? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Okay. You have the double enchilada platter with no cilantro? You got it. It comes up to 765. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. a lot. You bet. Here you go. Have a nice day. You too. We'll see ya. All right, guys. It's all about the crazy chicken for today's review. Let's peep this out. Gotta love that crazy look from the crazy chicken himself here at El Pollo Loco, guys. Feast your eyes upon their double chicken enchiladas platter. A pretty sizable amount of food for the money, and I gotta say the presentation sure looks pretty decent. And naturally, it comes with the two sides that you'd expect it to. We've got some refried beans topped with cotilla cheese here, and it's a very pungent cotilla cheese, guys. It's actually very strong. We've got some Spanish rice along with my nemesis on the very top, some chopped tomatoes, aka some finely ground salsa. We'll definitely scoop that to the side, but not a bad portion there. But the main event is actually these guys right here. We've got two chicken enchiladas, a double portion of shredded ranchero chicken here with some cheese on the inside, topped off with enchilada sauce and additional cotilla cheese here, guys. And of course, they do have a little bit of guacamole. This is also supposed to have some creamy cilantro drizzled on top. And although I did ask for just chopped cilantro to be removed, they actually left off the creamy cilantro as well. So I'm not gonna hate on them too much for that, but it's actually not as bad as the chopped cilantro. But I gotta say overall, like I said, a sizable portion amount of food here. Let's get into this right now. It's the double chicken enchiladas platter here at El Pollo Loco. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, guys, a pretty nice presentation on this one. And the guacamole that I mentioned earlier is actually sliced avocado. So this is not the processed stuff, it's the real deal. Let's do it. Yeah, this platter's got some heft to it here. Let me start off with the refried beans first. And man, that cheese is pungent. It is very strong, lighting up the car nicely. Mmm. Nice flavor on that, very nice. Standard refried beans with the cotilla cheese coming up on the back end, very, very nice and pungent. It tastes just as pungent as it smells, which is good. Let's give the uh, rice a shot here as well, minus the salsa real fast, their Spanish rice. Mm. Always good, very tasty. It's Americanized Spanish rice, so there's really no spice to it whatsoever. It's got a little bit of something in it to let you know that it's a Mexican type of rice, but it is really very, very tame, but it's good. They put it on all the food here. But it's all about the main event. So before I actually get into the enchiladas, let me get some of the chicken pieces that they have on top, along with the cheese on top of that. A Little bit of the enchilada sauce here. This is the shredded ranchero chicken, so it is seasoned up. A Little bit of enchilada sauce and some of the cotilla cheese to go with it here. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, tasty. You're gonna hear tasty a lot throughout this, guys, because it really is a pretty flavorful platter with all the usual suspects in a chicken enchilada platter. Pretty nice. All right, let me break off a piece of this enchilada, and I'm going to give you guys the close-up of it first before I bite into it so you guys can experience what I'm about to here. So let me get this set up. Looks like they're using corn tortillas for these double chicken enchiladas, guys. And as you can see by this cross-section shot, it is loaded in the middle right there with that shredded ranchero chicken. You've got the melted cheese on display and, of course, the enchilada sauce on top. And just to finish it off with a bow, we've actually got that avocado as well. So looking forward to getting into this one right now. And that is a pretty awesome-looking bite, too. Mmm, and a tasty one at that. There's no real heat or heavy spices to the enchilada sauce, but it's a little on the tart side. So as soon as you start eating it, you start feeling it in the back of your throat like a tartness that comes through. But the chicken is very juicy. There's a lot of it on the inside. The only thing as expected is the cheese. Again, pretty non-existent. I think that's really just to hold everything together on the inside. Stars of the show easily. The enchilada sauce as well as the juiciness of the chicken itself. And of course that sliced avocado goes extremely well. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get enchiladas, they're typically made with flour tortillas. And I think that actually adds to the overall flavor. Corn tortillas tend to be a little drier. So I think they're relying on the enchilada sauce and the ranchero seasoning of the chicken to kind of pump it up a little bit. But I really wish it was actually flour tortillas. I think that would have made a huge difference, at least for me anyway. One more quick shot of this one with a little 
avo dressing on top. As you can see, we're towards the end of one of these enchiladas and the meat's beginning to thin out at the ends there. So naturally you're gonna get a little bit more of the meat in the middle, but it doesn't really spread out as much as I'd like here. The flavor is good, but the meat does get a little thin as you get to the ends, but decent still. I guess decent's the only real way to sum this one up, but what do you guys think? Is this one a little bit more bark than bite to you? Because initially it looks pretty fantastic, but the more I'm eating this, the more I'm beginning to see that it needs a little bit more on the inside of the enchiladas, especially at the ends. That's really the main thing. But you guys let me know by dropping those comments down below. And as for my overall score, I'm going to have to give the double chicken enchiladas platter here at El Pollo Loco just a decent 7 out of 10. I think I pretty much hit all the points already, guys. But as you can see, presentation alone, it is pretty decent for the money. But if you do decide to pick this one up, if you've got El Pollo Loco in the area, have them beef up the enchiladas just a little bit. As for the extra chicken, it will be highly worth it. And those are my thoughts on one of the latest promos here at El Pollo Loco as we close out another episode of Peep This Out, guys. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, at least it kind of looked like the picture in the window. And these days with fast food restaurants, that's an absolute rarity. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.